Hi, this is Ray Greylock here, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to connect the ASCOM driver through APCC without a mount present. So first of all, note that I'm running APCC Pro version 1.0.3.4, and the ASCOM driver is v5.07.02. The very first thing you need to do is go to the Advanced section and make sure that the Connect Timeout is set to zero. This is important. If you have a non-zero value here, what will happen is the driver will time out after n number of seconds, whatever number of value, or value that you put in there. So zero means it will never time out. So the driver will stay open. The next thing you need to do is to make sure you have the APCC virtual port option checked and that the COM port selected matches the virtual port you have selected inside of APCC. Now it's important that the virtual port that you select doesn't overlap with any real COM port, otherwise there'll be a conflict. I know in my system COM7 is not any real COM port, so I'm going to create that now. And I can close this. You can see down here that the COM7 has now been created, but the driver button is still not enabled. So to enable it, I need to connect to a serial port. Now note there's no mount here. You can see the COM4 is flashing and there's no response for it. But now the connect driver button is enabled. So I can now click it. So now we can go into the driver and make the changes as necessary. Now note the fields aren't changing, they're not valid, they're just set to default values, but you can get to the driver at this point. So when you're done, there's a trick that you have to do to close this out. What has happened is that since the timeout value was set to zero, the thread is never exited. So it's still waiting for the driver to connect. So in order to get around that, you first need to disconnect the driver here. And the driver's not going to go away because it's stuck in a thread. But if you close the driver now, it goes away. You'll see an error message like that. That's just APCC finally getting control back from it. And it'll close the message box down in a second. So anyway, that is uh, how you do it. And if, if you have any questions, please post on the APGoTo Yahoo group forum. Thanks.